nothing more annoying than hanging fresh clothes on the line and then having smoke drift over from the neighbour's property. Well, now residents in the Shire of Yarra Ranges are enjoying smoke-free Sundays since the introduction of a new open-air burning local law. The new law was developed after an extensive two-year community consultation process in an effort to provide a better balance between managing fire risk and addressing environmental and health issues. It came into effect on July 1st and there are some important changes residents need to know about, particularly those in rural or residential bushland areas. Remember, burning off in urban areas is prohibited without a permit. Key changes include no burning permitted on Sundays across the Shire, giving residents a smoke-free day on the weekend. Simplifying the days and hours for burning in residential bushland areas to four days a week, outside of the CFA declared fire danger period. Banning burning off in residential bushland areas during the main winter months of June and July. A wider range of enforcement tools to deal with the breaches of the local law and tighter provisions around smoke from fires creating nuisance and hazards. According to Ranger Kerry Rowlands, there are a few things residents need to know to ensure they burn clean and correctly. Burning off should only be for fuel reduction purposes. Okay, so what would be the major issues? The major issue we have with burning off is the smoke nuisance caused both to the environment and to neighbours. So what's the simplest way to stop smoke? The simplest way to stop smoke is to burn dry plant materials only. Make sure weather conditions are suitable for burning off. Never burn when the wind speed is over 15 kilometres per hour. Use the trees as a guide. If you see movement in the leaves, it's probably a good indication that it's too windy to burn. You could also check the Bureau of Meteorology website for the day's forecast and approximate wind speeds. Also, don't burn on foggy or drizzly days when material is wet from frost or rain. Once again, this will just cause excessive smoke. And remember, burning off on CFA declared total fire ban days, EPA smog alert days, or during the declared fire danger period without a permit is prohibited under the local law. So where would be the best place on a typical property to burn off? Well, you have to take a couple of things into consideration. The first is the distance away from buildings. You have to be at least 10 metres away from a building. And distance away from vegetation, you have to be at least three metres away. So an area like where we are now that's nice and clear and flat is fine. So I guess it's important to have just a few things standing by in case you run into any problems? Yes, you do. You should ha um, have some water standing by, either in a bucket or a hose. Uh, you should have a minimum of 10 litres available in a bucket and a uh, rake or a shovel. Okay, what do you use the rake or shovel for? Just to uh, push dirt onto the fire in case it gets out of control or something like that. Start the fire using light material like dried leaves and twigs and maybe some newspaper. Never use an accelerant such as petrol to light the fire. Build the fire up slowly, alternating between light and heavier materials to keep the air flowing, which will produce a clean burn. All right, so we've got a nice little fire happening. What do we need to do at this point? Well, first of all, you should only be burning off for fuel reduction purposes only. And the materials that uh, you're burning off should be dry. Uh, you shouldn't be burning wet or green material. So at the moment, our fire... Um, we're using dry materials. There's a reduced amount of smoke from the fire. And look what happens when we put green uh, materials on there. Oh yeah, you can see the smoke right there. Okay. Yeah. And how important is it to keep the fire contained? Well, for safety reasons, uh, it's important to keep a fire to a manageable size so it is easy to contain. To make sure you burn cleanly and correctly, it's also important to ensure that you don't burn the following materials. Non-timber based building materials, rubber or plastic including plastic mulch, plant pots and packaging materials, furnishings and carpet, manufactured chemicals, petroleum or oil products, paint including any container in which paint is kept, food waste, manure and straw, dead animals or birds, unless prescribed by the Department of Primary Industries as the only means of disposal, and any other offensive, noxious or toxic matter. 
Remember, burning off is for fuel reduction purposes only, and you should only be burning dry plant material like twigs, leaves, or bark. Now, before burning off, do consider other options to reduce the fuel load on your property. So you might be able to recycle it on site through composting or mulching, or off site through green waste collections, or even a trip to the tip. Different burning off restrictions will apply to urban, rural and residential bushland areas of the Shire. To find out which area you live in, contact the Shire of Yarra Rangers on 1300 368 333 or look further through this website.